Well, hello everybody, it's Crafting with Christy, and today I am like a couple days late on showing you my completed pages. I've been busy. So, yeah, I'm um, gonna try and get this done. So, here is legit like all my uh, I need to fill that in but all my completed pages for April yeah April I had to make sure I was saying the right one because it's May 2nd and so in April I finished 58 pages in 18 books, 12 were color by number, and 6 were non-color by number. I need to step up my game in non-color by number. Because I, I feel like I'm favoring color by number, but that's just me. Um, so here is my April review of my 10 books to finish. As you can see, Square Mandalas is complete. Um, I don't know if you'll see this video first or the completed coloring, the completed coloring book flip through. I don't know. It's whatever I want to do. <laughs> but, and then, um, what was it? Last month, I switched a million cute animals with spiroglyphics. So I did a couple in there this month. So, in Cute Animals by Jade Summer, I have eight pages left. In Chibi Girls, Volume 1 by April Amber, I have 13 pages left. 50 Jungle Miniatures. I'm going to have to step up my game. Because I have 37 pages left, so I'm kind of behind. Um, Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays. I think that's what it's called. I have 19 pages left. Spiroglyphics Animals by Thomas Pivette. I have 12 pages left. Mickey and Friends by Hachette Heroes. I have 20 pages left. S Square Mandalas is complete. Mosaic Art Patterns. I have 16 pages left. Little Fairies 12. And Zen Doodle Stained Glass. I have 40 pages left. So in all I have 177 pages left. To complete all 10 books. So, yeah. Yay! <laughs> so that is that. Let me kind of scoop this over. And I'll show you my empties. It's not as many as last month. But look how many books. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen big markings or big markers used up in April. That is amazing. So there's that. And then two gel pens. One is a, oh, they're both a and art gel pens, so. And then I got two fine tip and, oh, these are fine point and then these are ultra fine point. So two of each, so I think I'm doing pretty darn good. I'm going to... Take these and put them over here somewhere. And I'll deal with them later. Alrighty. Let's get into this big old stack of books. Like, literally, big old stack of books. Alright. So, I did five pages. I know they're not tagged. I'm hashtag lazy. It's okay. I'm already late on putting this video up. So, thank goodness I know what pages I made. 
So the first one I did is this one. And I finished this on the 10th. And I think I just used Bic and Sharpies. And then this one, also Bic and Sharpies. I know one of them. Let's see. I know one of them I did with scribble art pens. I did this one and finished it on the 19th. I'm trying to see. Yep, this is still Big and Sharpies. Okay. I think this is the um, scribble art. Also with Big and Sharpies because I only had a little set of the scribble art pens so I only used what I had and and then here's the last page which is the front cover and I finished this on the 28th with Bix and Sharpies so this is a completed book I did two in Mickey and Friends and I'm just going in order now so, this month, this last month, I did this page. I don't know who that is. I just, <laughs> it's one of the Mickey and Friends characters. And then I did, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see if I can show you Mickey and Minnie. So, I finished this first page on the 12th. And the second page on the 16th. And I just used water base markers because they're both, they're double sided. That is Mickey and Friends by Hatchet Heroes. I did two in mosaic art patterns by Sachin Sachdeva. Okay, so I was going to do this page and then I figured out what it was. And so I was going to skip it till Halloween. So the pages I did were the birdies. I finished this on the 6th. And then I did this one. And I finished this on the 29th. 29th. It looked like a 7 or a 4. And I had to make sure. <laughs> but that's my next one. That is Mosaic Art Patterns, Color by Number by Sach and Sach Deva. I did a couple in Zen Doodle Color by Number Stained Glass. I need to step up my game in this one too because I feel like I'm slacking. Um, yeah. Okay. So the first one I did in here was this one. I finished this on the 19th. Did I? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I finished this on the 19th. And I used my Arteza Twi Markers. Because I hadn't used them in a while. So I wanted to use them. And then I did this page. And I finished this on the 30th. And I used my Magic Fly marker, or water base markers, and finished this one on the 30th as well with my Magic Fly markers. They're water base markers. So. Yep. That is Zen Doodle Color by Number Stained Glass by Deborah Muller. I did two in Little Fairies. Stained glass color by number. This is by Sun Life Drawing. I did this one, which I'll show you like that. And I finished this on the 10th, and I just used Bix and Sharpies. And last Monday, you would have seen me finish this page. I used my Bix and Sharpies. I finished this on the 25th, and that on the 10th, and then there's my whip. Again, that is Little Fairies Stained Glass Color by Number by Some Left Drawing. 
I think I'm gonna have to like buckle down and do like 10 pages this month in this book because I'm kind of behind. Um, this is 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camille Angel Cova. I am just going in order. Um, so I did three in here. I did this one because this was a whip last month, so I wanted to finish it. I finished this on the 28th. Then I did the two cans. And I finished that on the 30th. And I just used, on all three of these pages, I just used Bigs and Sharpies. So I did this one also on the 30th. Again, that is 50 Jungle Miniatures by Camille Angel Cova. If anybody wants to do a body color with me in 50 Jungle Miniatures, kind of catch me up. Let me know down in the description or in the comments because uh, slowly falling behind. <laughs> I did one in Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays by Hannah Lynn. I did the bunny page. I did this as a color and chat. Um, and you would have seen the completed page at the end of that color and chat. Um, I just used my Ohuhu brush tip markers and I finished this on the 16th. I was going to do this page, but I didn't have enough time. But this month I will get it done. So that is Whimsy Girls Celebrate the Holidays and Festive Occasions by Hannah Lynn. I only got one done in Cute Animals by Jade Summer. Let's see. I did the bunny. I think my bunny turned out kind of cute. I do say. He's a great bunny. And I finished him on the 21st. I think I just used my Ohuhu alcohol markers. Or as Crystal calls them, hoo-ha markers. I'm going to have to look up a picture of a chicken or a rooster. <laughs> or I'll just make him a purple rooster. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that's my next goal is to complete this page. That is Cute Animals by Jade Summer. I did a two in Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 1 by April Amber. Uh, I'm going to have to kind of look for the ones that I did. Okay, so this is one of them I did. Um, I finished this on the 21st. I actually really like how I did the, uh, the, the globe. All I did was put, like, squiggles and then fill them in and then build in the blue behind it. I said, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, oh well, it's done. <laughs> but I really like how this page turned out. I used my alcohol brush tip Ohuhu markers. And then I did this page on the 21st. And I used my Ohuhu alcohol markers and a little bit of um, Jot Gel Pen, just in the suns. And the lollipop. So. And the hearts. So, yeah. Those are my two pages out of Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 1 by April Amber. I did three in Spiral Glyphics. I'm going to have to kind of move my <laughs> pages over so I don't bump the tripod. So let's see. Oh, and I still did it anyways. Look at me being all clumsy and stuff. Let's see. So the first one I did was the bunny. I was going to do the bunny in just this blue right here. 
but by the time I got halfway through and on the second gel pen, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to use a different blue. I didn't like the darker blue, but eh, once I started, I wasn't going to stop. I finished this on the the 8th. I was going to say the 4th, but I'm being a goofball. And then I did the horse on the 9th. Done in glitter, black glitter gel pen. And then my last page I did this month. Let me see if I can find it. Nope. Bear with me, y'all. Nope. Oh, there it is. I did the pink piggy. I did the pink piggy. It's a sparkly pink piggy. See? It sparkles. But yeah, those are the three pages I did in Spiroglyphic Animals by Thomas Pivet. And those are all my, that's all the ten books to finish. And the rest are just color by number, non-color by number, I guess. I think there's one non-color by number. And the rest are color by number. Anyways... I did a couple in Easter ceramic tiles, color by number. I did two, and then I'll be doing another one in May. I did the duck. His wing was supposed to be light brown. I was like, no. My duck is going to be all yellow. And that's what I made him. And then the second one, I, I couldn't resist not doing the carrot. I had to do a carrot. Look at that face. How stinking cute. So those are the two pages I did in Easter Ceramic Tiles by Parashi Dewan Sachdeva. I do apologize. I didn't get anything done this month in my 50 Easter miniatures. Um, I will be trying to catch up that this month in May. Um, so the body colors that I was supposed to do in April, I will get done in May. This last week has been hectic with granddad being in the hospital and me taking care of the house and the dogs and the kids and then myself, you know, stuff like that. But that's for like a color and chatter or whip and chat or whatever. Um, the next book I colored in is Kawaii Color by Number. This is the black background by Color Questopia. I am helping Four King in Color finish this book. I gotta figure out. Okay. So, this is one of the pages I did. I finished this on the 5th. Oh, excuse me. Um, I just used... Um, my spree alcohol markers. And then I did, where is it? Oh, not that one. No? I did this one because there are bunnies and every time I see a bunny I think of Easter and April and you know so I had to do the bunny page and for King and Color did the same page because spring Easter bunnies <laughs> anyways so I finished that also on the fifth and then my last page I did was of the mermaid and I finished this on the tenth I used my spree alcohol markers and the background is just Crayola crowns. I don't know what that was. Probably crumbs. But yeah. I really like how these pages are turning out. So again that is Kawaii Color by Number Black Background by Color Questopia. 
I had to pull this book out um, this month because I feel like I haven't colored in it enough. So this is Color by Number 7, 70 plus cartoon characters. This is no longer available on Amazon. This is by, let's see, Jennifer Rowling. And the publisher is Bright Ideas Paper. Um, I'm going to have to search through and figure out which ones that I did. I know which ones I did. I just have to find them. Okay. We'll go. Uh, nope. Okay. So here's one I did. This is, I'm guessing this is Sophia the First from, or Sophia from Sophia the First. Kid cartoon show. I know, I think I did one back here. I think. Because it only had two colors in it. Black and white, so. Oh, there it is. I don't know who that is. I finished that on the 7th. I, I think I finished all... Four pages on the seventh. So, did this page, which I don't know who that is. It's just one color, basically, because you don't fill in the white. So, and then I did the Sophia page, which I think it's Sophia. I don't know if it's actually Sophia, but it looks like Sophia. That one. Let's see where else. I did this page. I don't know who that is. I have no clue. But I did that page this month. Or this last month. And then the last one that I did was Elsa! I think this was actually the very first page that I did this month. Or on the 7th. And then I just picked random numbers and well, bam so, that is 70 plus cartoon characters, color by number, by Jennifer Rowling. I did one in 50 nighttime mandalas. That's my, this is my whip. I'll probably finish that this next month. I think the other one is back here somewhere. That's why... Hi. Okay, there it is. I finished this on the 11th. This is an all yellow palette. If you're part of Danny Buttons' Patreon, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I was going to say something and it just... Boop. So, yeah. Um, yep, it's gone. But that... That is the page I did in 50 Nighttime Mandalas by Camila Angelkova. I pulled this bad boy out because um, I'm kind of doing um, um, a random or like spin the wheel thing. I'm doing Danny Buttons Bingo and then I'm um, this month or this last month, I picked Easter and then four other prompts, which one was Dinosaur, Finish a Whip, um, I think an animal you don't like, and a five color palette, or five marker challenge, and I didn't get, I think, two of those done. But I got a dinosaur done. Um, but I'm going to keep this book out because I'm going to color the page that Luke wanted me to color. I didn't even... Oh, yes, I did. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Ugh. Anyways. I did this one with my Bakes and Sharpies. I finished this on the 6th. So, yeah. Like how that dinosaur came out, but... I'm going to keep this out so I can color this page because Luke wanted me to color this page and I'll 
I mean, hey, why not? So that is Mystery Colors Dinosaurs. <laughs> I know I didn't say that at the beginning, but I did, I think, four pages in this book. And this is a very loved book, but I haven't touched it in a hot minute. Well, I touched it last month, but in March. And then did it this month as well. So, let's see. Okay, so here's the line that I did. And I used my Bigs and Sharpies. And then I did the Octopus. And I did that on the 6th with Bix and Sharpies. And then I finished the Wolf. And I finished that on the 30th. And the last page that I did was a Buddy Color. I can't remember what her name is. Um, I will link everybody I had a Buddy Color with down in the description box. Because, I'm sorry, I forgot who I did a buddy color with in this book. I finished this on the 15th. So, thank you for doing a buddy color with me. So, that is Animal Stencils Color by Number by Some Left Drawing. Um... There is a full completed flip through of this. I'm not going to show you pages just because there is a full flip through if you would like to see it. I finished this book this month, this this last month, sorry, confusing myself, but in March I did two pages and the rest of the uh, the rest of the pages I did in April. And I completed this book, so I will have the completed flip through in the description box if you would like to go check that out. So this is Spring Color by Colors by Kira Shishneva. Yep, I had to make sure I had the name right. So, yeah, go check that out. And then my last book I colored in is... Les Grand Classiques. I think this is the first first one. Yeah. Cuz I think that's the second one. Cuz I just I just have the first two. Um I did finish a whip, but then I started one and I have to finish it this next month. So one of my prompts was to finish a whip. And I only had the black outline done. And this is, I guess, from Brother Bear. But when I was doing the black outline, uh, the black outlining, like a while back, I had the book like this. And just with the black outlining, I had no idea what it was. Hubby had to tell me what it was. Or it was from Bo Brother Bear. But I finished this on the 10th. And then... Of course, I have to... I like doing the black outline. And then I asked Danny Buttons to pick a page out of here for me. And she picked this one. And um, I will be trying to color this page this month in May. So hopefully I will get it done. I need to show this book some love because... I don't pull it out as much as I'd like to. So, yeah. That is Les Grand Classiques. I think volume one. So, that is all my completed pages for the month of April. I'm just picking up my books. So, yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed seeing my completed pages for April. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I greatly appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell so you know when I put up a video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section below. I do also have my email in the description box if you would like to email me. 
But other than that, I will see y'all all in my next video. Bye. Keep on crafting, y'all.